When you can't make it to City Hall or the school board meetings, local journalists from BrainerdDispatch.com will be there to report the facts and get your questions answered. Local news works for you. Stay up to date at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good afternoon, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Friday, July 26th. I'm Dylan Howard with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. It's going to be getting a lot warmer in the Brainerd Lakes area starting today. Temperatures are expected to top out at 87 degrees. On Saturday, they are expected to climb into the low 90s. Quote, I would say it's probably going to be the warmest day we've seen this summer so far, said Lee Britt, meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Duluth. According to the forecast, the heat will stay for a while, too. For the Brainerd Lakes area, the high temperature Sunday is expected to be 87 degrees, Monday 85 degrees, Tuesday 88 degrees, Wednesday 89 degrees, and Thursday 88 degrees. The average high temperature for this time of year is 81 degrees. A search warrant was executed Wednesday, July 24th, after multiple gang-related drive-by shootings on the Mille Lacs Reservation. The Crow Wing County Sheriff's Office reported its tactical team, along with the Lakes Area Drug Investigative Division, executed a search warrant around 3.35 p.m. on the 13,000 block of County Highway 25. The Crow Wing County search warrant was issued following multiple drive-by shootings on the Mille Lacs Reservation over the past week. After the last drive-by shooting Wednesday morning, a vehicle used in that shooting was located at the residence on County Highway 25. The tactical team made entry into the residence and flashbangs were used while clearing the home. No arrests were made and no injuries were reported. During the search warrant, traffic was rerouted as County Highway 25 was closed from about 3.30 p.m. to 5.20 p.m. Wednesday. The Crow Wing County Sheriff's Office said the drive-by shootings are believed to be gang-related and the investigation is ongoing. No other information was available Thursday. Central Lakes College and Essentia Health teamed up to show students entering 8th and 9th grades there are more jobs in a hospital than just doctor and nurse. Students attended the Free Healthcare Career Exploration Day Camp Wednesday and Thursday, July 17th and 18th, organized by the Brainerd Lakes Chamber of Commerce's Bridges Workplace Connection, Central Lakes College, Sourcewell, and Essentia Health. The day camp allowed students to see nurse and dental training labs, as well as participate in activities and tours at the Medical Center in Brainerd. Staff intern Carolyn Gilstrom has the full story in today's e-edition or at BrainerdDispatch.com. Voting is now open through July 31st for the 2024 Best of the Brainerd Lakes contest. Vote for your favorite local people, places, and organizations. Visit BrainerdDispatch.com slash Best of Brainerd Lakes to vote once per day in every category. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, this was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. Eighty years ago today, in 1944, the Dispatch reported that approximately 112 blood donors from Brainerd, Jenkins, and Crosby traveled to Little Falls to visit the donation center there. This is the first time that Brainerd donors, who previously went to St. Cloud, visited Little Falls. The trip pushed Brainerd over the top of 1,000 blood donors. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's this weekend's Lake Area forecast brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Happy Friday. Here's the forecast for the Brainerd Lakes area. The heat will be continuing to build across the region today into Saturday, with mostly sunny and breezy conditions continuing through tomorrow as well. Afternoon highs today reach the upper 80s, with temperatures topping out in the lower 90s then on Saturday. Storm chances along a cool front arrive starting later Saturday, with scattered shower and storm chances lingering then through Monday. A few isolated chances for some rain and storms linger at times through the first half of next week before we dry out, though the warm temperatures will be persisting. I'm Storm Tracker Meteorologist Robert Daly. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support, and thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day, and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great weekend, and we'll catch you on Monday.